Let's continue on trying the different options of the auto insert feature. In this website for the demo, there are two categories for posts. One is named sample category and the other one is named uncategorized, which is the built-in default category. To see the limit auto insert to checked categories option, let's check sample category. The first item. You should see your own categories listed there. The top page. No widget box. The post page which belongs to uncategorized. No widget box. Clicking on the categories link. Sample category. In this archive type page, the widget box is displayed. This however is also an archive type page, but no widget box, because it does not belong to the sample category, the selected option item. Now let's see, how the widget box's visibility can be restricted by post ID. Below the category checklist we just tried. There is the option, limit auto insert to certain post slash page IDs. To confirm which post has which post ID, go to, posts, and, all posts. Right click on the post title you want to check and copy the URL into the clipboard. Paste it in a text editor so that you can see the number. The value following Post equal, is the one we need, here it's 18. Let's check the next one as well. It says it's 16. So, let's try making the widget box only show wrap in the posts with IDs of 18 and 16. I type 18, 16. You have to type your own post IDs. And save changes. The titles of the enabled posts are Another Demo Post and Demo Post dash Sample Category. Here it comes. Check this one as well. OK, fine. We have to make sure that other pages don't show the widget box. Good. What about the topage then? Hom, the widget box is thera. In this case, we can disable the widget box on the top page while enabling it in the specified posts. Go down to the option, Page Types to disable Auto Insert. And select the Page Types to disable the widget box. I just select all of the items, to make it only visible in regular post pages.
Now it's gone from the top page. But it's there in the specified post. So, play around with these combinations of limit and disable criteria and see if you can get desired results. We have covered pretty much all of the details of the auto-insert feature. I hope you will be successful making your website more prominent with this plugin. Good luck!